Okay, yeah, right, so this is the last kind of new, well, bit of content to learn for this topic. So this is to do with reducing the effects of an earthquake, and basically the task is to design your own earthquake-proof building. So you can use lots of ideas from the PowerPoint of, of buildings that exist and things that are done, um, but just make sure that you are putting your links in for this one, that's really important. So we've got key terms here to help you with your links, and we've also got an example here. So we've got fire resistant building materials and I've gone further than that and I've said this means and talked about why that would reduce the effects of an earthquake so it's not just pointing out the features it's explaining why that is going to save lives or stop the building falling down or stop a fire so it's that asking yourself so what that you're going to have to do so the space here to draw it but feel free to do it on you know plain paper and just have this on the computer to, to help you and again if you are really sophisticated and good with computers if you want to design something on a computer and, and type up your annotations and things that's fine as well just make sure you've got those links in and you use this waggle to help so this is the powerpoint with all the information on so we've got examples you might recognize from year seven so the uh, trans america pyramid in san francisco we've got things to do with planning and preparation as well and just some other examples of things down here that they're all of which you may remember from year seven so if you take those ideas, come up with some of your own and uh, just don't forget to keep asking so what and make those links.